Welcome to our YouTube channel A to Z Summary. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Before proceeding further to the summary, I request you to please subscribe our channel and like this video. We have a huge collection of books and novels. The themes of the novel are The characters of the novel are The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides is a psychological thriller that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. The story revolves around Alicia Berenson, a talented painter who shoots her husband and then stops speaking. The mystery deepens as Alicia becomes a patient in a secure psychiatric facility. The novel is known for its gripping narrative and unexpected twists. Michaelides skillfully explores themes of love, betrayal, and the complexities of the human mind. The unreliable narrator adds to the suspense, making it difficult for readers to predict the outcome. The seven-year married couple, Gabriel and Alicia Berenson, are killed by Alicia. She doesn't offer an alibi for the crime, nor does she dispute her culpability. She actually can't or won't say anything at all. She paints a picture that she calls Alcestis, after an old Greek drama, and uses it as her main means of communication regarding the murder while she is being held at home before the trial. As the narrative progresses, Theo divulges more details about his personal life, including his marriage to stage actress Kathy from the United States, whose upbeat demeanor offers Theo his first taste of true bliss. But he starts pursuing Kathy in the hopes of discovering her having an affair after discovering strange messages on her laptop. Alicia is found not guilty by diminished culpability during the trial. Despite the best efforts of the Grove staff, Alicia's mental hospital where she has been committed since the trial Alicia has persisted in her silence years later. Theo is still enthralled with Alicia, and he applies to work at the Grove in an attempt to find out why she won't talk. Theo encounters Yuri, a laid-back nurse, Rowena, an art therapist, Stephanie, the severe manager of the Grove, Christian, with whom Theo does not get along, and Diomedes, who oversees the psychiatry section. Theo also gets to know the patients at the Grove, such as Alicia, who is still on a lot of medication and has not improved with treatment. In an attempt to connect with Alicia, Theo believes he has to learn more about her background to identify the trauma that has caused her. Interviews with Alicia's acquaintances before her death are sought after, notably Jean Felix, whose gallery exhibited Alicia's artwork. Theo also visits Max Berenson, Alicia's brother-in-law, who says that Alicia had been visiting an unofficial therapist at Gabriel's request. Theo finds out a lot about Alicia's difficult upbringing from her disagreeable Aunt Lydia and her cousin Paul when visiting Alicia's family home. Before Gabriel was killed, Alicia wrote notes in her journal in which she discussed her mother's death in an automobile accident, which she believed was a premeditated suicide. She also writes about how much she hates Max, who has made many improper attempts to kiss and touch her, and how much she loves her husband. When Max complains about Theo's actions to the Grove in the present, Diomedes acknowledges that Theo has overstepped his bounds in the workplace. Theo meets with Jean Felix again after being told to cease getting in touch with Alicia's friends and family. Jean Felix suggests that Theo study Euripides Alcestis. A lady offers to give up her life in the play in place of her husband, who is all too ready to take it. Theo makes progress with Alicia at the Grove, she first cooperates with his attempts to involve her in art therapy but then suddenly turns on him. This reaction gives him hope that she is communicating her emotions in some manner, but Theo's care for Alicia is abruptly stopped when she assaults another patient. She surprises Theo by handing him her journal before the medical personnel puts her under sedation. He discovers from it that, in the days leading up to Gabriel's murder, Alicia was being followed. As Theo pursues Kathy and learns that she is having an affair with another guy, his personal life falls apart. Theo discovers through spying on the man that he is married and that his wife is not aware of the affair. Theo then makes a breakthrough when he goes back to Alicia's childhood home. Paul shares with Theo that Alicia's father openly wishes that Alicia had passed away instead of her mother. Theo understands that her father murdered her in a psychic sense at that same time and that on the night of the murder, she must have had a terrible event of some kind. When he shares his findings with Alicia at the Grove, she at last starts to talk. She describes the events of the murderous night, asserting that the guy who had been pursuing her had bound her and killed Gabriel. But Theo thinks she's telling a falsehood. After what is thought to be a heroin overdose, Alicia is found in a coma by the Grove personnel the next morning. But after Theo accuses Christian of trying to inject Alicia to death, the police are called. 
Theo goes back to Kathy's partner in the affairs house. He goes into the house to face the man's wife, Alicia Berenson, as it turns out. Theo, an untrustworthy narrator, has been tampering with the story's chronology to hide his stalking of Alicia and his role in Gabriel's death. Hidden from Theo, Alicia writes her last journal entry in which she reveals the true events of that fatal night. Theo wraps the rope around Gabriel and Alicia to conceal his identity. Theo gives Gabriel the option to choose between Alicia's life and his own, hoping to reveal Gabriel's betrayal. When Gabriel decides to rescue himself, Theo departs without injuring anyone. But Gabriel's readiness to give up Alicia causes her unresolved father-related anguish. Gabriel is killed when she takes up the pistol and shoots him many times. Years later, when Theo starts working at the Grove, she realizes he's been stalking her. She decides to act ignorant until she is certain of her identity and has a clearer understanding of Theo's reasons for visiting the Grove. She fabricates the circumstances behind Gabriel's death to Theo when she eventually agrees to talk with him, letting him know that she is aware of his participation. Though he maintains that he was unaware that Alicia would kill Gabriel, Theo rather than Christian gives Alicia an injection that puts her in a comatose state to quiet her and conceal his involvement. Later, Alicia is still in a coma with little possibility of recovery, Theo and Kathy have left London and are unhappy in their marriage, speaking little to one another. Alicia's case officer, Chief Inspector Allen, pays Theo a visit at his house and informs him that he has located Alicia's last diary entry, which details Theo's transgressions. Theo notices that it is snowing while the inspector reads the journal entry, and he catches a snowflake on his tongue. Who is the silent patient in the novel? The silent patient is Alicia Berenson, a famous painter who shoots her husband, Gabriel, and then stops speaking. Why did Alicia Berenson kill her husband? The true motive behind Alicia's silence and her husband's murder remains a mystery throughout much of the novel. Various theories emerge, including Alicia's troubled past, her strained relationship with Gabriel, and the psychological impact of her artistic success. What is the significance of Alicia's art in the novel? Alicia's artwork plays a crucial role in the narrative, and her paintings provide insights into her state of mind and emotions. Who is Theo Faber, and what is his role in the story? Theo Faber is a criminal psychotherapist hired to work with Alicia to uncover the reasons behind her silence and to help her regain her voice. What role does Paul Andrews play in the story? Paul Andrews is a former therapist at The Grove who treated Alicia before her silence. Paul's relationship with Alicia and his knowledge of her case raise suspicions among others, including Theo Faber. How does Theo's own past affect his interactions with Alicia? Theo's own troubled past, particularly his relationship with his late mother, influences his approach to Alicia's case and his understanding of mental illness. Theo's experiences shape his empathy and determination to help Alicia. What is the setting of The Silent Patient? The novel is set in London and revolves around the characters' lives, particularly in the psychiatric facility where Alicia is being treated. Is the book Silent Patient a true story? No, The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides is a work of fiction and not based on a true story. What is the role of art and creativity in the story? Art, particularly Alicia's paintings, plays a significant role in the novel. Alicia's artistic expression provides insights into her troubled mind and the events leading up to her husband's death. Theo also uses art as a tool for understanding and connecting with Alicia. What is the role of the media and public perception in the story? The media's portrayal of Alicia as a silent and mysterious figure contributes to the public's fascination with her case. Theo's involvement in the story also draws media attention, adding pressure to his investigation. What is the big twist in The Silent Patient? The big twist in The Silent Patient is that Theo Faber, the psychotherapist who is treating Alicia Berenson, is the one who actually broke into her house the night her husband, Gabriel, was murdered. He did this to expose Gabriel's affair with Theo's wife, Kathy. This revelation is shocking because it completely changes the reader's understanding of the events of the novel. What is the ending of novel? In the shocking twist ending of The Silent Patient, it is revealed that Theo Faber, the therapist trying to help Alicia Berenson, is actually the masked man who killed her husband, Gabriel Berenson. Theo's obsession with Alicia and his own troubled past led him to confront Gabriel, resulting in Gabriel's death and Alicia's silence. After learning of Santiago's vision, the alchemist extends an invitation for a desert journey in which he imparts wisdom to Santiago on the significance of following his path and following his heart. 
He offers to travel with Santiago on the remaining portion of his journey and persuades him to abandon Fatima and the caravan so he can complete his quest to the pyramids.